hello everyone in this video i'll teach standard 8 children from their english language adjective degrees of comparison it is one of the very important chapters now you all know what is adjective you also know what uh, the adjective degrees of comparison adjective changes in form to show comparison when we compare two things then we need to change the adjectives form the degrees to be changed and these degrees of adjectives are having three forms positive degree comparative degree superlative degree what is positive degree positive degree it shows an adjective in its simple form it shows an adjective in its simple form what is that simple form like when we say he is a good boy she is beautiful this is a big house so big beautiful good these are all adjectives of positive degree which is not showing any comparison it is just qualifying or telling something about a noun or a pronoun that is positive degree next coming comparative degree comparative degree shows comparatively more or less degree of the same quality of an objective comparatively more or less degree of the same quality of an objective like he is better than his brother in studies so here you see we are comparing the quality of two brothers study in which we are comparing that one is better that means one is more so this comparative degree shows more or less degree of same quality the quality is what who study how they both of them study now who does better he does better than his brother next coming superlative degree what is superlative degree it shows the highest or lowest degree of same quality of an adjective he is the best boy in his class she is the tallest girl in the school Uh, this is the biggest house in our locality so here what is showing that in the locality there are many house so among those all houses this is the biggest she is the tallest among all the girls she is the best he is the best boy that means among all the boy he is the best so it is showing the highest or lowest degree of same quality so we have to remember that it the superlative degree is used when more than two things are compared when two things we compare we use comparative degree but when more than two things we compare that time we can use superlative form also now you see two examples of how they are changing if the positive degree is good or well the comparative will be better superlative best clever cleverer cleverest so like this this adjective from simple form it comes comparative and comes to superlative come to the next example he is a good boy see it is in simple form of adjective positive degree next coming to comparative he is better than his brother so good is the positive degree of adjective and then better is the comparative form of this why comparative degree used because two he and his brother they are compared and remember that comparative in comparative degree this than is a keyword whenever you will find than in a sentence even if you do not understand it is for sure that it is sentence written in comparative degree next coming to superlative he is the best boy in his class here this best is the superlative form of good and it is showing the highest degree of same quality and here one very important point to remember that always before superlative degree there will be definite article the now in your portion what is very very important that is interchange of degrees of comparison without changing meaning means we have to change from positive to comparative comparative to superlative or superlative to positive like this without changing its meaning now you see first rule 
he is the tallest boy in his class he is the tallest boy in his class in this sentence the tallest now you understood tallest is the superlative form the is coming because i said definite article will come and in the class he is the tallest that means he is one and only who is the tallest one nobody is coming within that list so this is called unrestricted superlative degree this is called unrestricted why unrestricted because he is the tallest in that tallest category there is no one except him so this is unrestricted so when this unrestricted superlative degree comes the tallest then what will be the comparative if we want to change this to this comparative form without changing meaning the sentence will be he is taller than any other boy in his class he is taller than any other boy in his class so taller has come the comparative form of tallest then i said than is a key word of comparative degree and what important part when unrestricted superlative degree comes means that when the degree is unrestricted the tallest then in comparative there is one very important key word that is any other we have to write any any other boy that means he is one and only next if we want to convert this tallest he is the tallest or he is taller than any other this two into positive degree then we have to write no other boy in his class is as tall as he is no other boy in his class is as tall as he is this is positive degree why positive degree because we are using tall tall is the simple form of adjective so here the main keyword is no other why no other because any other comparative is any other and the superlative is the tallest so in case of the tallest comparative will be any other superlative a positive degree will be no other that means he is the one and only and you notice three of the sentences whatever i have written they are giving the same meaning i have not changed the tense that is very important we cannot change tense we cannot change meaning and you see when we are writing any we are writing singular with the noun when we are writing no other we are writing singular form of noun and according to the singular form we have to see the verb also will be singular okay so this three these things are very important to remember sometimes what happens children do mistake in the verb form children do mistake in making tense they change the tense that is strictly not allowed we cannot change the tense and verb form also be very sure that when it is a it is no other it is singular verb when it is any other it is singular form of the noun here also singular form so this is the one rule of degrees now the second part before telling second part so what we got in unrestricted degree positive no other comparative any other superlative the most the most means the best the tallest the shortest the biggest the best like that second rule second rule is he is one of the tallest boy earlier we got he is the tallest it is he is one of the tallest boys in his class one of the tallest is restricted superlative why restricted because he is not one and only he is not one and only there may be in the class there may be some or few boys those are coming under tallest group and he is one of them he is not one and only so one of the tallest when we write the noun uh, will come with plural remember that boy is one of the tallest boy is wrong one of the tallest boy is in his class then in restricted superlative what will be the comparative difference he is taller than this much is okay there we wrote previous one we wrote any other here we will write most other most other means not one and only most other boys and in case of most this one also coming plural 
this noun also coming plural this is comparative and what will be the positive degree earlier we used no other in case of positive degree here we will use very few because one of the tallest when it is one of the tallest the positive will be very few there are a few number of boys who all are coming under this category so very few boys in his class are remember that because of very few here we are writing are according to the tense it is present tense and plural form earlier it was coming with no other when we wrote in previous page there i wrote is because singular form so this is positive degree so from restricted degree what we got positive very few comparative most other superlative one of the most dot one of the most means one of the best one of the tallest like that one of the cleverest now the third rule when comparison between two when comparison between two things I, earlier only i said there will be no superlative form so we can only do change from positive to comparative or comparative to positive without changing the meaning now see here also certain rule works work like see he is taller than his brother i have compared he and his brother and he is taller so this is comparative degree now if i want to make the positive form without changing the meaning what it will be his brother is not as tall as he is so what i have done here you see he is taller than his brother that means his brother is not as tall as he is he is taller so what i have done the point what you have to understand he is taller than his brother here his brother come to the first position there is one negative word not and we have written as tall as that is for positive degree so what we got his brother is not as tall as he is he he has gone in this position and as he is and his brother has come into this position then see next one there is one more he is less intelligent than his brother here also it is comparative degree because than is there but it is less it is not more intelligent less intelligent when less word is coming when less intelligent or less word is coming we will not change the position like this here position change his brother came here here it will not come here it will be then the meaning will change if we change the position of he and his brother then it will be he is not as intelligent as his brother he is less intelligent meaning is what his brother is more no so if we cannot write his brother is more intelligent then we are keeping it comparative only so we have to make it positive degree by not changing the position of he and his brother only we will add this not and then positive form as intelligent as he is not as intelligent as his brother so we have changed the degrees without changing the position here one very important note children i'll tell you we have to change the degrees we cannot keep the same degree that means there will be change of degree we cannot keep the same degree like if positive there it has to be comparative or superlative we cannot keep the same degree so in next video i'll come up with some more example or exercises